Hey there, YouTubers and collectors. This is Salvador Los Angeles with my review of the ultimate Kessler Wolf from an American werewolf in London made by NECA. This review is over a year in the making because I wanted to do this in January of 2022. Logistically, it was not possible. So now here we are in January of 2023. So this review is definitely overdue but very special to me because I'm a moon lover, I'm a moon gazer, and I'm doing this review of the Ultimate Kessler Wolf underneath the wolf moon of 2023, the full wolf moon. So this is a very special review. It's outdoors. I'm about to be killed by coyotes any second. I saw one of them behind me about 50, by, by 50 yards. But the good news is there's some bunnies out there, and I think the bunnies will kind of alert me to danger. Will they? I don't know. Anyway, let's have a look at the <laughs> ultimate Kessler Wolf from an American werewolf in London. Uh, this movie came out in 1981, written and directed by John Landis. My mother took me to see this movie when I was eight years old. What the, f what the F, mom? What the F? Okay. Woo! Look at that mean mug. You know, in the box, I kind of thought he would look kind of scrawny. But once he's out... I think he looks okay. I, I wonder if he doesn't look scrawny as much as I think he should be furrier. I think that's what I'm looking for. I feel like he should be a little bit furrier, you know what I mean? Which would give him the appearance of being a little thicker. But that face and those teeth are amazing. And he comes with a, a different head with mouth open. Let's check that out. I waited over a year to do this review. Over a fucking year. I take this guy's head off. I just try to take his head off and the peg breaks inside there. So I can't put this guy on. You see the peg broke in his neck. See that? See that? Ugh. I can't believe this is happening to me. I can't believe this is happening to me. You know what? You know what? This whole thing's ruined. The body's pretty nice. Body's pretty nice. I feel like a headless werewolf. Why are his... Why are, why are his uh, lower legs blue? Anyway, I'm going to be more critical now because of this. But anyway, okay, listen, the head sculpt is fantastic. Um, I think they could have just went, went with a hinged jaw, you know? I mean, it looks great, but I just think they could have went with a hinged jaw. And that way you wouldn't have to be swapping out the heads, and this bullshit wouldn't have happened. Okay, how about that? How about that? How about make it so I don't have to take off the head? And then I won't take off the head, and then everything will be fine. Instead, I'm just trying to review a damn figure. And this is what happens. Okay, anyway. It was a good night. Oh dear, unpleasant dreams. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh.